Okay, back again. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna look at this, the uh the Mullen. The Mullen Bridge RBA from Ambition Mods. Uh we'll flip this this way. We got Ambition Mods. Now this came out good good while back. Um it's just kind of been sitting in my collection. Oh, can we get a focus? And I haven't really been using it too much. I think I only used it a couple times. Um, I think I bought this from 3F8. I mean, it is authentic. It's uh, Ambition Mods. Uh, this came out... Now, initially this came out by itself. Mind you, this brand new was a $10 RBA. Ten dollars. Now, it came out um, by itself at first, and then they started offering it with a mod, and that mod. Was, oh, there's a QR code. <laughs> and that mod was the what was it called? The the box two point um, first I was going to say Sunbox, but that's not right. <laughs> Although Ambition did something with Sunbox, I believe. But, uh, yeah, it was called the Box 2.0. It was like, kind of looked a little bit like a boxer mod. Um, but it was, it was an aluminum mod. They had a couple different gaudy colors that China likes to do. Alright, the unique thing about this is the airflow pin system. So, oh my god, this stuff's in there. Here's the, uh, the 510 for your building and dry firing. Uh, so it came with, what, three airflow pins? Because I have two in here. Here's a little Allen wrench. Here's, it looks like there's a bunch of stuff in here. Airflow pins are very interesting looking. So here's a good god, man. 2.0. A two, a three. Um, I don't think there's any, no, no labeling, so you have to eyeball it. But look at the intake of the air. It's different on all of them. But that's unusual. You don't usually see this kind of shape in the airflow pin. And that's why I picked it up. Not only was it ridiculously cheap, but um, I found it pretty unique. And this was an early RBA, especially for China to be making. Um, I don't really know if they did anything by this point. I mean, oh my god, I cannot get this out. I think they had the, um, I think the Cubix was out already. I really jammed that in there. I'm going to have to, like, destroy this thing to get that spares bag out. I don't even know what these other things are. What are these? Little reducers or something? What am I looking at? They look like the, the reducers from the Karma RBA. I don't know what the hell they're for. Yeah, I guess they're reducers. Yeah, they fit in there perfectly. So, they give you a couple of reducers. Uh, or a couple pins, and then all these reducers. So, here's the other pin. Um, it makes me wonder, jeez, it makes me wonder what the size is on this one. Because it, it's not listed, so that's the one's a two, the one's a three. Oh, we'll just have to find out. Um, let's open it up a little bit. This is one piece. This is one piece, as you can see, uh, like, reminiscent of, like, the bridge, uh, V1. The bridged V1 by Wicked. That was a one-piece chimney top cap system, and so is this. A little bit of a dome, doming action going on there, so it's not just, like, a boxed-off flat top, like, uh, the Armor A and BB. Uh, which I miss very much, so I guess this is gonna gonna do for now until I replace it because look the, not only is the, the 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 build deck and chamber similar 
but the um the wicking ports are very similar too except the armor had two holes um mark like that and this the, the uh where you trap your leads doesn't look as complicated on this thank god um you know it's under coil airflow i think i have a this has been in there for a while i think that's a coffin coils coil grub screw hex screw allen whatever you want to call it so and it's and eh, yeah it looks like a 0.9 so they're the smaller grub screws i think we'll we'll see when i get in there they might look a little bigger i don't know um but yeah it's a pretty straightforward uh rba here and now this this shape is pretty common at this point it's been done i think the atom is the first thing that kind of have this look the atom and then the cloud and the mbb it's a little scuffed up i don't know if it came like that or if i did that it's not perfect but um yeah these reducers are pretty uh wow i mean that's tiny they have everything you know so definitely can accommodate wow i mean they look the same almost those diameters so they, you know they are out to accommodate oh my god this focus accommodate mtl vapors as well as rdl um at th at three being the biggest um diameter uh it's not really gonna work for uh for people that are very like dl vaping loyalists so a three a two and a and a 1.2 is what you get yeah so i took the other pin out um when you take your pin out you will make it so that your post is loose in there so be careful if you're trying to just change the pin out um willy-nilly like that also it comes with this like uh peculiar looking comes with this strange airflow disc type thing we've seen these on like the insider rba and a few others um i'm not really gonna run it um uh, the Haku Zeta, I think, was the first to offer that. I think it's just, uh, it's not gimmicky, but I just don't want to bother. This is the problem. I don't actually have the right uh, 510 adapter for this, so we're just going to wing it. Remember I was asking that question the other day, like, do you have to dry fire? We're going to find out right now. So yeah, I'm literally just going to put the friggin' cotton in here. And throw it right in. I mean, I've used this, uh, I've used this coil before, so it should work. <laughs> I can't keep it, like, in place. Okay, that's good. in there but there's nothing holding it to keep it taut I usually pull the cotton like back and forth like side to side a little bit to give it that like loosen it up a little give it some wiggle room I do my 45 degree cuts So if it's anything like the um, AMBB, it doesn't need a lot of cotton. Just made sure that the cotton is fluffed up well and placed strategically. Sorry, my finger gets in the way every time I do this, but well, it's not necessarily a comb out; it's just a fluff up. Is what I'm doing with these. Uh, pointed tweezers here. So then after I do that, I do another 
a little 45 degree, a little under. All right. Put it in the pocket. Okay, a twist. I never put this in Boras these days. I usually just put it in um, RTAs, but why not? I'm not sure how, how much I'll get along with this anyway, or if it'll even work right since I didn't get to dry fire it. <laughs> so yeah, well, that, that leaves out a lot of steps. Um, <laughs> Just slap it in a borer now. We have a thoroughly stained uh, white pro row. Oh, I've screwed that up because with a one piece system uh, type, look how big this thing is, my God. With a bridge like this, you have to put the, the chimney in first. It doesn't even fit. Okay, it literally wouldn't fit through the top part of my pro row. So I got this weird tank, cheap other Chinese type tank to use that works off that like snail tank-ish system. Okay, never mind. I got it to fit. Uh, I wanted to put it in my harbor, but it. It's not gonna fit. I'm gonna also slap in a battery here. An OG uh, mission wrap. It's one of those weird battery contacts. I forget the brand. It's not light, not light them up customs or I don't know. Or what the hell, what were they called? Linear customs? I don't think it's that either. It's that three letter brand. I can't even remember it. That uh, Dominic Ball is uh, affiliated with my old school genie looking drip tip from uh, that I got on Fast Tech years ago. Let's see if it reads. Nope. This is always how I tighten or used to tighten flush nuts down. I, I generally just use integrated tips. Okay, I tried just about every combination I could think of. I managed to jam this in a standard Boro. Uh, it still isn't working. I've used um, different flush nuts, different integrated tips. I cannot get a connection out of this. Um, I'm gonna try one more, and this is another billet box, although this is a clone billet box. And since this is borderline clone RBA here, maybe it'll work in this. Shit, is a pain in the ass. I mean, they got better at making RBAs. This is kind of an old one. Look, it works in this. It works in the clone billet box, but not in the authentic one. You, it's a mind fuck. Arena 0.57, 27.5 5 watts. Let's take a rip. I like the airflow. I do like the airflow. It's really smooth with those uh, multiple cutouts in there. They should have called the 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 RBA the dice flow because it reminds me of like a dice, like rolling a five and a dice, or I don't know. Reminds me of like a dice airflow cutout. So that's that with this. Um, it's the funny thing about RBAs and Bora mods is that you drop everything. 
No, it's it's that um, you never know what you're gonna get. You never know what's gonna read and what isn't. But um, I like the vape on it. I like the flavor. It's gonna be my temporary um, AMBB for right now. I could tell it's gonna wick thoroughly. Very similar wicking system. So okay, so I decided to test it out one more time with um, a different setup. 0.63 um, in the authentic ion. So I think it had a lot to do with that uh, that drip tip combination and that boro that I was using. Um, this thing. I, I don't know who makes. I think S6K made this this boro, and it just is inconsistent. I mean, it was still early on when they were just getting a feel for, you know, making these things work uh, fluidly across the board. Bora mods, I will say, are much more consistent now. Um, you don't have as many uh, troubles getting everything to, to read. It's a little bit more interchangeable than it used to be. But they used to be really picky and when you know, 2020, 2021. Um, yeah, so that's cool. I, like I said, I like this airflow. I wish newer RBAs use this airflow style. Um, Cause this is too clunky. That one piece chimney and top cap, it's just too big. When you're putting it in the boro initially, it barely fits in there. And then you gotta wrestle with it to go through the top. It's too much. All right, final consensus. I actually really do like the vape quality off of this. I'm pretty surprised with it. Um, that airflow, those little cutouts, I mean, it's really smooth. It's a really smooth draw. Um, and it was just, I didn't really expect to like it this much. Um, honest to god do i you know do i think it's worth dealing with the pain in the ass um way you have to set it up i think every time if i had to do it like that it would drive me crazy i mean it's just an inconvenient build style so i think someone should take this pin design and repurpose it for a different RBA, one that's a little more convenient. Because, um, yeah, I mean, the actual draw on this is pretty likable. It's pretty good. So... I don't know if you could hear how smooth that is. I'm trying to do it pretty close to the camera. It's, it's an extremely smooth draw. I mean, it sounds like ocean waves about to break. Or, or ocean waves that just broke. Let's put it that way. It's really good. So, that's the Mullen. And, um, okay.